Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you an amazing logo design. From that video, you will learn how to design your idea in any shape like this very easily. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information that you find in the tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. First of all, I need an image on which I'm going to design. So I will download the image from Google. So open Google, and search Burj Al Arab. I have searched this because I'm going to design on Burj Al Arab. You can search another name, or another shape that you like. From here, I click on images. And I have select the best images for my design. I have downloaded these three photos from Google. Now select the perfect image for your design. I think, the middle one is perfect, so I keep it, and delete the two images. As we can see, the picture is reversed here, so make it right position. Select the picture, click the left button of mouse, and select transform, select reflect, and click on OK. Now the images is perfect. Reduce the opacity of the image, so that we can see our design. Now lock the image, for that go object. And select lock, and click on selection. Ok, that's good. Now you cannot move the image, and can easily draw on it. First of all, take ellipse tool. And draw a circle. and place it over the building. You don't need to be 100% accurate, just make the building shape. Now we need make few circles little bit small from the big circle, and the gap must be equal from each other. You can randomly make it by copy your circle, and make it little bit smaller like that. But this is not easy way to make it. The easy way is, first select the circle, and copy it. For copy, go edit, and select copy, again go edit, and select paste in place. Now make it minimum smaller that you needed. After that, select the both circle, and go object, and select blend, and select make. Again go object, and select blend and select blend option. Select smooth color from spacing, and put the number how many circles you need. I take total 9 circles. Now click on OK. You can make the circles bigger and smaller as you need. But I think, you don't need to do this. Select line segment tool and draw a line equal to the circle edge like that. Now copy the circle by hold alter, and put it the another circle middle like that. I think, if we move the circles above from the image, the work will be easy for us. Now I place the line on the middle of the bigger circle. But I cannot do it for the second circle. But what's the problem here? As we can see, I cannot place it middle, even it cannot show smart guide. But why? When I go outline mode, I can see my problems. The problem is, these circles need to expand first, then we can work with it. But I did not expand it. So I do it now, select the circles, and go object, and select expand. Ok, that's good. Now we can easily place line on the middle, even it show the smart guide too. 
Take Line Segment Tool, and draw a line. Copy the line by Hold Alter, and place it on Second Circle, and make it more by Hold Control and pressing D. OK, that's good. Now select the lines, and make it top a line, and make it group. Now copy the lines. For copy, go edit, and select copy, again go edit, and select paste in place. Now rotate it 90 degree. OK, that's good. Now select everything, and reduce the stroke color, because it will make the lines and circle minimalistic. And you can easily work on it, I think, that's perfect now. Basically we will designing our design on this part like the building, I think everyone know this it very well. Now select everything. And take shape builder tool. Now swap stroke color to fill color. And draw your design carefully what you want. I'm designing H7 on the lines and circles. This is H letter. Designing very carefully otherwise you can make mistake. This is our final design. But I think, if I draw from one line below, the design will be look good. So, keep watching. As we can see, there are little gap in the top shape which does not have before. Now carefully fill up this, and this is a critical work for us. Carefully done this. Finally I have drawn my design in the shape. Now move the design above from the lines, and most of people make mistake while moving the design. So first select your design part, then ungroup it. And select every part, and ungroup it. After completing ungroup, now hold shift, and select your design part. And move it. As you can see, I have designed it like Burj Al Arab. Now select the design, and make it group. Also increase the stroke color, because it will add more shining to your design. Now select the design, and go object, select expand. Now take shape builder tool, and keep gap in the shape, it was cover while increasing the stroke color. Now go pathfinder, and make it united. Ok, that's good. Finally I have designed my logo like Burj Al Arab. Now we add color to the design. Select the design, and ungroup it. And add these color to the logo. Again select the design, and make it group. Now take rectangular tool and draw a rectangular and send it back also change the color to black and lock it by press control 2 now type logo name the name is h7 dubai 
Make it bigger. And change the color. So friends, that's all today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and that you're feeling inspired to create amazing logos of your own. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to keep experimenting and honing your skills. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any questions or suggestions below. Keep designing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.